So let's talk about the new 90mm macro lens for the OM system. A pretty revolutionary lens on paper, but does it hold up in real life testing? Well, in this video I'm gonna give you my first impressions of this lens. I would not call this a full review because I only had this lens for a couple of days and only been able to try it for a few hours. But I tried the things that I am the most interested in getting the answer to, which is how well does it focus stack at two times magnification? Can it do an automated stack in camera and get good results consistently? How good is the image stabilization, which is supposed to be revolutionary on this lens? And overall, how is the sharpness and image quality and user experience with this lens? Those are the things I've been looking into and that I'm gonna talk about in this video. What is revolutionary about this lens is that it is the first ever two times magnification macro lens with autofocus. Nobody in the history of cameras have, has ever done that before. And not only that, it has a very long focal length. It's 90 millimeter, but on the Micro Four Thirds system that turns out to be 180 millimeter in full frame equivalent. So it's a very long focal length, which gives you a good working distance. And also this lens is very small and compact and lightweight when you consider all these features. So yeah, it really is revolutionary on paper. Before we get into the image quality and all of that, let's just talk quickly about the externals of the lens. Yeah, you have a focus limiter that you can set to macro or 0.25 to 0.5 meters or 0.25 to infinity. And this is of course very useful, especially when you're doing macro, just set it to macro and uh, the autofocus will not hunt as much or at least not as long. <laughs> And then you have the image stabilization switch on and off, very good to have. And then you have the custom function button that you can set to anything. Then you have a very nice focusing mechanism. You have the regular uh, focusing ring, which is electronically coupled that works like any other focusing ring on an electronic lens, but you can pull it back like this and get true, or at least it feels pretty true, <laughs> manual focus. It's still electronically coupled, I think, uh, but you have a scale there and it's perfect then for macro photography because you can fine tune the magnification uh, a lot easier. And a nice feature with the autofocus uh, on this lens combined with an Olympus camera is that you can use the autofocus to roughly focus to where you want uh, the focus to be. And then the last adjustments you can do by either moving the camera back and forth, as I like to do, or turning the focusing ring. And I really like that combination of autofocus and manual focus. So if the autofocus would not be enough in certain situations, you can always fine tune it yourself. The lens feels a little bit plasticky, uh, maybe a little bit too plasticky for the price of $1,600. But I'm okay with that because the lens is very lightweight and that is something I value very highly. And on the camera, it feels very good. It does not feel very front heavy and the old setup feels lightweight. I, I like it. Okay, let's talk about the most interesting stuff. How is the image quality and how is the shooting experience? I did some quick indoor tests because I did not have that much time with this lens. It was kindly borrowed to me by a marketing representative of OM system here in Stockholm and uh, they needed it back for a conference tomorrow. So I just had like a quick try of this lens. The image quality I think looks really good for Micro Four Thirds. Of course you don't have the same dynamic range as you have on a full frame camera, but the image is very sharp and uh, yeah, to me it is definitely good enough. But the most exciting thing for me about this lens when I tested it and that really made me go wow <laughs> is the uh, automated stacking in camera. I've never used an Olympus camera before and now I'm wondering what took me so long because I'm actually kind of surprised by how well the automated in-camera stacking feature works. You just uh, 
point at your subject, you uh, push the uh, shutter and it will very quickly, you can set the interval yourself depending on how fast your flash is, take a series of images, up to 15 images that will be automatically stacked in camera. And of course you need to hold the camera very steadily to do this, but I'm actually surprised by how often this worked. You do get a lot of failed stacks, but you do get that with a manual lens as well when you try to stack. But the great thing about this is that even if the camera would not make a perfect stack, at least it will indicate what stacks are possible to do. I think when I'm using a manual lens from Laowa and doing handheld stacks, the biggest problem and the most amount of work is to find the stacks that work, that is possible to put together. But now, since the camera always attempts to put it together itself, you will know beforehand what stacks are actually possible. And then if you're not happy with the stack that the camera made, you can always redo it yourself because it will save each individual picture as well. But actually I'm very impressed by how good this camera stacks in camera. They must have some really good algorithms for that. Uh, so, I mean, this feature in itself, automated stacking and autofocus that actually works very well at high magnifications, I think I want to get one of these cameras and one of these lenses, at least one of these cameras, and then if I cannot afford this lens, maybe I will buy the 60mm, which is also great, but does only go to one time magnification. But I have to say that autofocus also works incredibly well. Uh, it's not perfect, you need good light, and it hunts quite a bit sometimes, but uh, it really makes it easier to find the subject in the frame. And then when you have set the focus approximately, you can just go the last mile yourself by moving the camera. And I really liked that shooting experience and I want to explore more of it. So I'm, I'm really, really, <laughs> I'm getting really pumped up to buy one of these cameras now. And this is the OM-1 and that is the flagship camera of the new OM system. And despite this, it is pretty affordable. This camera is around $2,000. It's a lot of money, but it's a lot cheaper than the flagship cameras for full frame systems. Um, and sure, the camera only has 20 megapixels, but when I compare the sharpness of an automated stack made with this camera and this lens with the sharpness of uh, something I would have made on a full frame camera, even considering the lower resolution, I still think the result from this camera very often beats the result that I get from a full frame camera. And also the stabilization feels incredibly good. I mean, this is 180 millimeter equivalent and two times magnification. You would expect it to be extremely hard to get the focus uh, on the right place and get the subject in the frame. But thanks to this stabilization, I guess, it feels very easy, it feels very smooth to use this lens. So if you combine the stabilization, the autofocus, the automated in-camera stacking. To me, when I've tried this lens for a few hours, it almost feels like cheating to me. It's so much easier to take a nice macro photo uh, with this setup uh, than with any other setup I've tried before. There are some drawbacks though. It can be very frustrating when the camera fails to produce an automated stack and it happens quite often. And it seems to me that you really need to learn to set the right um, distance between the shots. You can set that in a menu on the camera and you, I think you need a lot of practice to set that to the correct uh, distance and understand how that works to get better results. I also noticed that when I used uh, my Mica MK320 flash, it was not that consistent when it comes to the strength of the flash, uh, when the battery has drained out a bit, and that very often made the camera fail to produce a stack, even when I held the camera perfectly still. So you need to really make sure that you have a good flash that can produce consistent results. I tried switching my M Mikey MK320 to a M Mikey MK310 and that one produced uh, more even light and the stack would come together more often. Um, and also I have to say that I don't own a flash made for the Micro Four Thirds system. Uh, these Mikey flashes are for Canon and Fuji, but they, it's the only ones I had that would work on this camera. And uh, considering that, I, I'm still pretty happy with the results. 
So yeah, I mean, this was not at all a conclusive review. I really would like to use this camera outdoors with live insects in a real macro photography environment. That is when I will truly know if this is the new king of macro lenses and if this is my new system that I want to switch to. Uh, but my first impressions are just wow. This feels like cheating. It's so easy to take nice deep focus stacks uh, with this combination. So I'm super excited to have tried this. And uh, yeah, I'm really eager to maybe buy an Olympus camera and getting to know this system more intimately. <laughs> Thanks for watching. See you soon again.